And welcome in. It has been a busy breaking news night throughout the region, but we start in Sterling, Virginia, where our explosion levels are home, a massive scene and a major emergency response. Yes, Sky Fox giving us a live look over the leveled house that you can see multiple fire crews combing through the area of a huge debris field. Just an incredible response taking place right now. Let's get right to Josh Rosenthal live on scene for us with more on what we're learning at this hour. Josh. Yeah, guys, we're standing at the intersection of Stony Creek Court and Silver Ridge Drive. I can tell you, we've got many uh, people who live in this neighborhood gathered around here. And I don't use these words lightly. This is an absolutely terrifying scene. I want to step out of the way so you can see what these people who live nearby are seeing in their very own neighborhood. If we if we zoom in, you can see smoke rising. I know you have uh, the, the shot uh, from above, from the chopper, but there is still a chimney standing, and that's about it. You can see debris all the way out well beyond where we're standing right now. We do know that this house exploded. I can tell you there are unconfirmed, again, unconfirmed reports that firefighters may have been inside. I have talked to the public information officer for the, for the fire department here. We are trying to get that confirmed. They said right now they can't confirm it, but I do think that's important information while unconfirmed, again, to pass along because it shows you the severity of this situation. Now, if we can come back out, uh, a couple more things I want to point. One, we have seen reports and we have heard reports from people here. They felt an explosion. Literally, they could feel their homes shaking. We've also seen on social media people as far as Montgomery County who say that they heard a boom. So that's the severity of this situation out here right now. Come on over. I want to introduce you. I'm going to get on this side to Chris and his son, Knox. Chris, you told me that Knox actually had friends over. He yeah. was having a sleepover. Then about 8.30, what happened? Walk me through it. Um, well, well, we thought they were playing upstairs and they were messing stuff up. And, and then all of a sudden, it felt like the whole house came down on us. It, I mean, the, it, I thought the bunk beds had fallen. I thought something had happened. And the kids started freaking out. Um, one of his best friends said, I can't be here anymore. I can't do this. It's crazy. So then what happens? I, I know, Knox, you were telling me earlier your friends left, and then what? You, you come outside. Knox, why don't you take this one? What do you see when you guys come out here with your dad? Um, the stuff from the house. Just all over, out here on the ground. The, the stuff that Knox is talking about is debris. Chris, you're, you're, there's insulation. It, it looks like there's snow all over the place with all the insulation around. Snow it's, on it's, the ground. It, yes, it's crazy. Uh, Chris Knox, thank you very much for your time. Um, it, you know, please stay safe of out course. here. Guys, if we could take a look back in this direction, I want to show you one more time what we're looking at here. I also want to point out we're kind of on a side street, and that's how we were able to get this close to, to what happened. This is where authorities want us, no further than this sidewalk that we're standing on now, so that's why we're staying here. However, there's another main drag that's uh, actually over to my left, and perhaps you guys can see this from the chopper view, but essentially there are emergency vehicles as far as the eye can see. We're talking fire trucks, we're talking police vehicles, you name it, they're out there. We've covered, unfortunately, a lot of tragic situations, a lot of situations that required massive police responses. This one is up there. We had to park our news vehicle. We got here pretty early. We had to park a solid 10 to 15 minutes away because that is how far back the emergency crews uh, are, are, are going. There are that many people here for this response. This part of the scene, as, as surprising as it may be to hear because we're so close, this is actually quite a bit calmer than what's happening just a block or two over. Uh, one more person I want to talk to. Uh, Lareb, do you want to give me your, your point of view? Uh, also lives nearby. This is Lareb. If you could, 8.30, big bang. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? Um, so basically, I was at my friend's house, and we just hear this loud explosion, um, and everything in the house is rattling. We're thinking someone crashed into the house or something. Uh, we look outside, absolutely nothing is there, and then we come out, don't see anything, but we smell a bunch of smoke, and that's when we decide to drive pretty close by, um, like not even like two minutes away, and then we walk all the way over here. We just see all this crazy stuff going on. We've seen people going into the, the ambulance and stuff. Face all burnt up. It was crazy, honestly. 
Laura, um, thank you for your time. Again, please stay safe out here. All of you, thank you for your time, and please stay safe out here. Again, guys, we are hearing unconfirmed reports, unconfirmed that firefighters may be injured. Certainly, that is what we're trying to figure out right now. That is who we're thinking about, as is everybody else out here. With uh, Again, guys, you know, I, I just want to underscore this. This is a really terrifying scene that we're seeing out here tonight. Josh, we've seen uh, the people outside watching the response, watching what's going on. Uh, just to reiterate, any any fear? Are there any concerns for people who live nearby? Are they able to get back into their homes, or are they being told to steer clear for the time being? I mean, we're seeing the response right now from Sky Fox, and you're right. It is a massive response out there. It is an absolutely massive response, Jim. And no, the, the people here are choosing to be outside of their homes. They're choosing to be nearby. But as far as we know, no one is being told that it is not safe to go back into their home. From what we can tell, this is just our vantage point. This is not an official word. But from what we can tell, yeah. this terrible, massive incident does appear to be somewhat isolated. We've been watching this for over an hour now. We saw those flames shooting out. Uh, now we see just white smoke with this huge response. Uh, Josh, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few hours. Things are going to get complicated with winter weather moving in. Uh, do you know what the plan is so far? I mean, are any of the fire crews, uh, they're going to, I'm assuming, going to be out there for some time? They're absolutely going to be out here for some time, Shrin. And it's important to remember, this happened maybe an hour and a half ago. So yeah. I spoke with a public information officer not too long ago. And in fact, she was still on her way here. So this is a very fluid situation. We're still kind of figuring it out as we go. And I get the impression that these emergency responders, they're having to as well. And, and by the way, when he mentioned about people hearing that, that explosion, I yeah. stepped outside our building here in Bethesda around 830, here. and I heard something in the distance, and we dealt with these before. Josh, we're going to check back with you in a little bit. I want to point out, check Loudoun County social channels. I've not seen any, any public alerts, uh, so Josh, it tracks with what uh, Josh just told us. 